Greetings from Vancouver. I'm Rob Allen, the third generation by that name to have been associated with this company, currently celebrating its 90th year of successful business as a firm of consulting naval architects in this beautiful Pacific city. It's very difficult to encapsulate in a short video the work that's been done by my grandfather, my father, and everyone else that has contributed to our success over these many years. However, to commemorate this significant occasion, we hope to give a bit of a capsule of the accomplishments of the firm, from a single proprietorship operating from a home office to its present-day status as a firm of significant international stature in this field. My grandfather, Robert Allen, emigrated to Vancouver from Scotland in 1919 with his wife and toddler son. He was employed by Wallace Shipyards in North Vancouver, initially as chief draftsman and shortly thereafter as chief superintendent. His initial charge was to design the Princess Louise, the first of the CP coastal steamships to have been built outside of Scotland. In late 1929, early 1930, he commenced working independently as a consulting naval architect. Earning a living in the early 30s was a challenge for many and he was no exception. A few small pleasure craft, some ferries, and coastal workboats and patrol craft sustained him in modest circumstances for quite a few years. The first recorded commission we can find in our archival material was for the 44-foot pleasure yacht Geneva M for Mr. Philip White in 1929. A much-needed major contract in 1933 for the yacht Meander was apparently sufficient to convince him to stay in Vancouver and keep trying. The beautiful 105-foot steel yacht Pfeiffer, built for Captain William Crawford in 1939, was a major commission and remains an iconic yacht on the Pacific coast. Some other notable designs of that era include the quarantine launch Salukan 5, numerous coastal patrol craft, and notably the first tugboat Weaver Lake. In the post-war era, significant growth in the BC fishing industry established Robert Allen as the leading designer of large coastal seiners, with more than 50 such vessels to his credit. In addition, numerous trollers and gill netters were designed for local boat builders and owners. 1945 also marked the beginning of a father-son team in the business when my father, Robert F., or Bob Allen, joined his father, working from an office in the basement of the family home. The 1950s saw the business slowly establishing itself solidly in the local marine industry. Some notable designs were done for coastal missions, including the Columbia 3 and John Antle. A significant series of coastal patrol craft were designed for the Department of Fisheries and other provincial and federal government departments. In the late 1950s and throughout the 1960s, Significant growth and change in the BC coastal towing industry was occurring, and Robert Allen Limited, which was incorporated as such in 1962, emerged as the industry leader in the development of designs for a new generation of steel tugs and sophisticated barges. Over 100 major tugs were built to our designs throughout the 1960s, and many barges. Significant amongst these were the first BC experiments with court nozzles on four 65-foot tugs built for Kingcom Navigation, the marine arm of Mill and Bodell Limited. The creation of one of the world's first ocean-going tug barge systems with the 4,000 horsepower tug Haida Brave and three covered newsprint barges moving newsprint from Port Alberni, BC to California. Numerous line haul tugs from 40 feet to 140 feet in length were all built at this time, and the lion's share of the self-loading, self-dumping log barges which were unique to BC at that time. In the 1970s, the work focus shifted north with the promise of major developments in the Mackenzie River Valley and offshore in the Beaufort Sea. Many shallow draft tugs and barges and a variety of workboats were built to support those ventures including a fleet of 4,500 horsepower quadruple screw pusher tugs for NTCL with just one meter draft. The first ice-breaking offshore supply vessels for Canmar 
and culminating in the design in 1981 of two Arctic Class 4 icebreaker anchor handling tug supply vessels, which supported Gulf Oil's operations in the Beaufort. A major and most fortuitous development for the company was the close relationship with the C.H. Cates & Sons Tug Company operating ship berthing tugs in the port of Vancouver. Beginning in the late 1960s and continuing throughout the 90s, the two firms worked closely developing initially a series of highly innovative yet simple screw tugs and ultimately the first Z-Drive tugs in Canada. The latter tugs attracted worldwide attention and really marked the beginning of our booming international tug business. Amongst all this commercial work from the 1950s and right through to the present day, there's also been a fairly steady stream of specialized vessels designed for various departments of the Canadian government, as well as for some other countries. This includes diverse buoy handlers, from small to large ice-breaking types, search and rescue vessels, a range of oceanographic and fisheries research vessels, culminating in the recent delivery of the 90-meter ice-class Australian oceanographic research vessel Investigator. Increased awareness of pollution response needs in local waters resulted in the development of the Bravo class of pollution response boats. A series of fast patrol catamarans were designed for the RCMP, including the Nadon, which renamed as the St. Rock II, became the first high-speed aluminum vessel to navigate the Northwest Passage. In the early 1990s, after a number of catastrophic oil spills, it was mandated by many countries that oil tankers must be escorted by tugboats in sensitive coastal waters. The capabilities of such tugs were not yet fully understood, however, and in fact did not exist. Robert Allen Limited undertook significant research and development work to address these shortcomings in existing designs, and particularly for tugs with Z-Drive propulsion. The result was the development of the Rastar hull form, offering exceptional stability in escort mode and high force-generating capabilities. The first tug built incorporating these features was the Voith-propelled Ajax for Ostenja Rettery of Norway. This design was followed by many ASD tugs such as the Switzer fleet operating in Milford Haven in the UK. Further advances in escort technology were made when Robert Allen Limited became the exclusive designer of the triple Z-Drive rotor tugs, which offer unique capabilities in very confined waterways. Further innovations in Voith escort technology emerged with the joint research project between Voith and Robert Allen Limited for the RAVE concept, with a fore and aft alignment of the drive units rather than the typical forward pair configuration. The first such application has just recently been delivered, also incorporating the Novatug patented carousel towing system. The 1990s marked the serious beginning of our international tug business. A number of successful ASD ship handling tug designs led to many more. This work also coupled with the emergence of Turkey as a world leader both in terms of demands for modern tug tonnage in their ports and as the leading builder of high quality modern tugs. Robert Allen Limited was fortunate to establish close working relationships with major emerging builders such as Sanmar, Uzmar and Medmarine. Those firms have now built several hundreds of tugs to our Ramparts, Rastar and Rascal series designs and are successfully exporting worldwide. Sanmar's 2400 SX Tug is but one recent example of the modern tugs being built for the world market in these yards. Robert Allen Limited has developed a close working relationship with Choi Li Shipyard in China, who have now built more than 150 tugs to our designs, principally for the Asian, South American and Central American markets. This includes the unique award-winning ZTEC design. More than 20 tugs of this class have been built for the Panama Canal, and most recently another series are under construction for the United States Navy. Tugs remain our bread and butter business, however, and in 2019 we marked the construction of the 1,000th tug built to our designs. The dual-fuel 
terminal high performance escort tug PAX operating in Hammerfest in northern Norway. We're exceedingly proud of the worldwide success of these tug designs, which can be found in every continent with commercial ports. The significant expansion of our tug design business has rather overshadowed our many other commercial vessel designs. One major sector of that has been in sophisticated fireboats for major ports and cities. The post-9-11 era led to the construction of many such vessels in U.S. cities, including Los Angeles, New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, Portland, Maine, Boston, Massport, and Long Beach, as did the expansion of many port cities in China, including Shenzhen and Hong Kong. One highly interesting aspect of the longevity of our firm is how some design tapes re-emerge many decades after the initial concept was developed. Some of these are simply the evolution of a local technology, such as the BC log barges. But others represent the application of locally developed designs to projects overseas. Examples of such Canadian technology transfer include the recent designs of a series of major pushboats for service in South America, using the design technology we developed in the early 1970s with shallow draft tugs for the Mackenzie River system. Another example is the development of shallow draft ice-breaking supply vessels for the Caspian Sea, which were based largely on the 1974 design of the Canmar Supplier Series for the Beaufort Sea. As we look forward to the celebration of a century of successful business in a few more years, it is most noteworthy that the future of this once family-owned company is securely in good hands with a clear direction for future success. The company was sold to a number of senior staff in 2008 in order to secure this very continuity, and the ownership continues to evolve to recognize the contributions of other staff. There are currently 26 shareholders amongst the approximately 90 staff members, all very ably led by current president and CEO Mike Fitzpatrick. The future of ship design is rapidly changing today. Newer propulsion technologies continue to emerge, particularly with many hybrid alternatives. Alternative low emission fuels, more efficient hull designs and so forth. Our designs include some of the world's first hybrid tugs. The first autonomous vessels are currently being developed and we're actively engaged in that work. Robert Alla Limited has invested heavily in the technologies necessary to properly analyze these options for any application. The future of our business depends, of course, upon the continuing demand for our specialized design services. In that regard, we want to acknowledge those many clients who entrust us with the development of safe and efficient designs for their vessels and who have continued to trust our work for many years. That trust is our most valued asset, and we're most grateful for your continuing support and friendship. Thank you. Thank you.